Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. I am Jason with Prometheus Lights, and I am going to help you get the most out of your Psy earplugs. Yeah? <laughs> talk about today is how to use earplugs correctly and the advice I'm gonna give you really applies to all foam earplugs uh, it applies to these as well and the main thing is you have to use your earplugs properly and they have to fit properly in order for you to get the correct rated amount of noise protection so for example the side earplugs are rated at 29 decibels and if your earplugs are properly fitted, that is the amount of noise reduction that you should experience. However, there are a lot of people, and there are tons of studies on this, uh, because hearing protection is a big workplace issue, so it gets a lot of attention. On average, people who use earplugs are only getting about 50% of the protection that that earplug is rated for. That is not because of a product problem. That is because of user error. They have not been sized or fitted correctly. So now you know, and now I'm going to show you how to do that. So proper earplug fitting or installation has two components. Number one is, are they the correct size? Number two, have you actually put them in your ears correctly? So let's tackle that in order. Sizing. Most foam earplugs you're going to find uh, are one size fits all, particularly the disposable ones. Psy earplugs come in three different size comply tips. There's small, medium, and large. And that's really just because people are different sizes. Whether, you know, you're a kid or a grown-up, people just have different ears. And one size fits all is not a great solution in a situation where there's a lot of variety. So... Do you pick small, medium, or large? I don't really know. You're gonna to have to figure that out for yourself, but that's why we are shipping these with all three sizes and you can find the size or the combination of sizes that works the best for you. And then you can just continue buying packs of whatever that single size is. So which size do you need? I don't know. For me, I actually started out with the medium tips and they seem to work fine, but I noticed that in my right ear, it just seemed a little bit loose compared to my left ear. So for a while, I was wearing a large in the right ear and a medium in the left. Uh, and I just realized I can actually properly fit a large plug in both ears. So really, my advice to you is use the largest size tip that you can still properly install uh, in order to get the most hearing protection. On the other hand, if you don't feel like you need that much hearing protection, you can totally get away with a smaller size um, that fits a little bit looser and is a little bit easier to put in. Bear in mind, you will not be getting the full amount of hearing protection. All right, so let's get to the exciting part and actually put these earplugs in. Now, proper foam earplug use is a simple three-step process. First, you roll the foam to compress it so that it will fit in your ear canal. Then you've got to pull your ear back to aid the insertion, and then you have to wait for the foam to expand. You have to pull your ear back? So this is the part that you probably have been doing wrong if you haven't been taught how to properly install an earplug. The reason you need to pull your ear back a little bit is because that motion straightens out your ear canal and allows you to get this plug where it needs to go. Now, if you have noticed at the doctor, or at least you will notice now, when they go to put the little otoscope with the light in your ear to check out your eardrum, they pull your ear back. And that is to line up the ear canal. So we're gonna do that. Roll, and the trick with rolling is you need to twist as you're rolling it. What you do not wanna do is squish it flat and then roll it. It'll get small enough to put in your ear, but when you squish it flat, it creates a little channel uh, and that channel will let sound in, and that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep that sound out. So we're going to roll this down. I'm going to put it in my ear. I'm going to pull back and then push that earplug down. Now, you may have to go back and readjust it a little bit, and that is perfectly fine. That is normal. Even as you're wearing them, you know, you're moving around and stuff, you might want to reseat the earplugs, and that's no big deal. Um, 
So as I've been sitting here talking, the earplug has expanded in my ear, uh, and I can probably get it a little bit deeper. So I'm just going to, again, pull my ear back and just push that in a little bit. And so that's about all there is to it. Uh, the Psy earplugs have a relatively large base, which, generally speaking, you can't over-insert it. Obviously, if you feel any pain or discomfort, you should stop. Um, but, I, I, like, at least for me, it is not physically possible to push these too far into my ear. That said, you want that earplug as far in as you can comfortably get it. Uh, and when it is properly inserted, it should be flush or inside of your overall ear area so that if you put on a helmet or take it off, it's not going to pull that ear earplug out. If you just take your earplug and stick it in like that, um, and it's sticking out of your ear, that means it is not properly seated. So you got to, you know, go back and properly install it if you want to get the right amount of hearing protection. Anyway, that's about all there is to it. You don't have to fiddle around with it a lot. Once you do it a couple of times, it's pretty quick. Uh, and again, after that foam expands, you might want to adjust them a little bit and you're good to go. But again, you got to get those earplugs in there if you want to get the rated level of protection. All right, so I just want to throw in a little bit of a PSA here at the end. Um, how much sound is too much? So again, hearing protection is a big thing in the workplace. Um, so OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, I think that's what it stands for, uh, says that you can be exposed to 85 decibels for eight hours over the course of a day without damaging your hearing. Now, the really important thing to note is that there is a connection between how loud the sound is and how long you can experience that for before it starts to damage your hearing. So again, at 85 decibels, eight hours should be fine. The louder the sound that you're exposed to, that exposure time goes down. Now, the other thing to note is that exposure is cumulative, so it adds up over the day. It is not, you know, based on starting here and I'm exposed for an hour, and then maybe an hour later there are more loud noises. Those aren't two separate things. That is considered one exposure. Uh, 85 decibels is about what you would expect to experience on a really noisy, busy city street, so it's not that much. Um, it is very easy to go above that limit. Now, the other thing to note about the decibel rating system is that's actually a logarithmic scale. Um, so every time you go up a single digit, it's not just an incremental increase as those digits grow. It's, uh, well, it's a logarithmic increase, similar to exponential, but not exactly the same. So what is a point of comparison? A very common thing that happens in a shop is you take your compressed air gun and you blow off a part. Um, that very easily reaches about 120 decibels. So from 85 to 120, in terms of actual loudness, that is a 4,000 time increase in loudness. You can only be exposed to 120 decibels for 10 seconds without permanently damaging your hearing. So if you're standing in your shop, blowing off parts for an hour or more, like you're doing hearing damage and you need to stop doing that. I don't know, I work in a shop, so that's easy for me to talk about. There are a lot of other situations where you may be exposed to loud noise. So because hearing damage is permanent, it is something that I take very seriously and I have not always taken the best care of my ears, partly because I didn't know how easy it was to damage your hearing. So now I wear earplugs almost all the time uh, when I'm in the shop. They're very comfortable. I can wear them all day. It's not a big deal. Uh, obviously, if you need to talk somebody, talk to somebody. You might need to pop them out. That is also easy to do. And then they are handy when you need them. So now you know how to properly size an ear tip, how to properly insert foam earplugs. And you also know how easy it is to expose yourself to sounds that will actually cause permanent hearing damage and that's why you should wear earplugs anyway i hope that helps thank you guys so much i will talk to you soon take care